Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. Let it shine in our hearts and lives. Amen. Lord God, you have brought us safely to this hour of evening prayer. We thank you for providing all that we need for body and life. Bless us who have gathered in your name, forgive our sins, speak to our hearts, dispel our sorrows with the comfort of your word, and receive our hymns of thanks and praise through Jesus Christ, our living Savior, who reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Savior. 
David said, Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress and will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times. O people, pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. King David repeats that phrase again and again. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. It's as if he had to tell himself this because he was being attacked by enemies not just within, but enemies from without as well. They were coming from outside the kingdom. How often he had to remind himself that God was with him as the enemy attacked, because so often when we're attacked, we feel all alone, don't we? The world is against us, family is against us, friends are against us, and we feel like we have no one. Again, remember how much God or David relied on God for his strength. And remember, David saw himself as a tottering fence. He, he knew his weaknesses. But in God, he would not be shaken by anything in this life. Notice in the text, he says, you know, I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. No matter how many enemies attack him, no matter how, no matter how many enemies try to take him down, God was his refuge and his strength. The enemies often attack us too. It attacks the church. It attacks us as individuals. It attacks us as groups of people. It attacks the Christian. The devil does his best to pull us down the, to the pits of hell. To pull us away from him. Our sinful nature then craves the things of this world. And we begin to neglect God. And we don't think we need His Word. We've got so many other things to do. But then when everything's falling apart, where do we turn? We turn upward, don't we? Not only our sinful nature, not only the devil, but now we have the world attacking us as well. And in those moments of struggle with our enemies, it's important to remember that we are never alone. God is our refuge that we can run to whenever life gets us down. The Advent season reminds us that our Savior Jesus came to earth to die the death that we deserve on the cross. He took on those greatest enemies of ours, sin, death, and the devil, and he won. He came out victorious when he left the grave. It's a message that never grows old, never grows weary to hear it, right? We, we celebrate it every time we hear it. Christ has defeated the grave. And we look forward to his coming again. That Advent theme again, sort of similar to end times, we wait for his coming. And we cry out, come Lord Jesus, come quickly, come now. We may be attacked, but we are never alone. We have a Savior who fights for us and has forgiven all our sins, given us hope for a future. We put our trust in him. David goes on to say, Low-born men are but a breath. He's talking about those who are, who are low in class, right? Um, low in stature, maybe. The high-born are but a lie. So even the, even the higher class, right, they're a lie. If weighed out of balance, they're nothing. Together they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or take pride in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things have I learned. That you, O God, are strong, and that you, O Lord, are loving. Surely you will reward each person according to what he has done. David understood the things of this world. He understood the ways of men in this world. He talks about the scales. He's talking about those who tip it in their favor, those who cheat, those who lie, those who get rich off these goods. And David is saying, first of all, don't do that. But if you do, don't put your trust in it. Don't set your heart on these things. Don't set your heart on people or wealth because it's going to come to nothing. Right? Whether you're low-born or high-born, it doesn't matter. We're all but a breath. Don't put your trust in people or wealth. But put your trust in God who is strong, who is faithful, and who is loving. You know, trust is completely a matter of the heart. It's, a, it's important for all, all of us to put our trust in God above all things. There's a lot of first commandment principles in this text. We must put God above all things in our life. This Advent season we cry, Come Lord Jesus, as we look forward to a second coming. 
But in the meantime, before he comes again, we plead with him to rescue us from the world of sin and sorrow and bring joy back into our lives. They say Christmas is the most joyful time of the year. You hear that all the time, right? Advent can be just as joyful, too, as we look forward to his coming again. You think about the Old Testament, all those people who waited for thousands and thousands of years, who heard the promise that the Messiah was coming, and what joy must have filled their heart when it finally came true, that generation that got to see the Savior. You and I have that same anticipation. We look forward to his coming again. It gives us hope for a future. It gives us peace. It gives us joy, knowing that he's going to take us from this world of sorrow. So we pray, Lord Jesus, come into our hearts. Help us slow down a little bit when things are getting really busy and time is like there's not enough in the day because there's so many things going on. Just to find that time to relax, to wait, to just remember what the Lord has done, that he's going to return. We can't do it alone. That's another highlight of this text, too. David said, in God alone I trust. Because he knew he couldn't trust himself either. It's like we can't trust ourselves. But we need him to give us the strength. And so we cry out, come Lord Jesus, come into our hearts. Amen. We continue with the seasonal response. The Lord will come again in glory. The Spirit of the church cry out, Come, Lord Jesus, come. And we sing, Children of the Heavenly Father. Now continue with the Lord have mercy. <clears throat> In the closing hours of this day, hear us as we pray, O oh Lord. Lord have mercy. Oh, and we're not singing it, we're speaking it. <laughs> for the well-being of people everywhere, for the growth of your church in all the world, for the strengthening of all who serve and worship here, we pray, O oh Lord, Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. For one another, young and old, for your blessings that come with every stage of life. And for joining and doing your will, we pray, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our public service.
servants who work day and night to bring protection, justice, learning, and help to this place and every place, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, For favorable weather and bountiful harvest, for clothing and food, for health of body, mind, and spirit, and for deliverance from all sin and every form of evil, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, For the faithful who have gone before us, who have shared with us your good news, Whose souls are now at rest in your heavenly kingdom, we give you thanks, O Lord. Thanks be to you, God. In thanksgiving for your many and varied gifts to us, we now commend ourselves to your care. Be our shield and strength, O Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, our holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works come from you. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments. Defend us also from the fear of our enemies, that we may live in peace and quietness. For the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we speak together the song of Simeon. In peace, Lord, you now let your servant depart according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for every people. A light to the light to the Gentiles, and the glory of your people, Israel. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Now we can close with Be Still My Soul.
high school, right? That, that tune just really fits it so well. It's one of my favorites. Just a, another reminder of the Advent season where we just need to take that time to slow down, take a breath, and know things are going to be all right because we have a Savior who's with us, right? Come, Lord Jesus, into my heart was our theme for tonight. And next Sunday will be Come, Lord Jesus, next Wednesday. See you. And next Wednesday, Advent service, uh, will be Come, Lord Jesus, into my home. And then the last one will be Come, Lord Jesus, into my church. And so that will be our themes throughout the Advent season. And I want to thank the Lodi people if they were able to watch us this evening. Hopefully you can watch it later if you weren't able to. Um, many of you know that I am serving the vacancy there. And so on Sunday afternoons, I go and do a service at 2 p.m. for them. They've never had an Advent service before, and so this is all new for them. And initially, I was going to do something more family-style around the dinner table, but it's really hard to stream it that way in, in the fellowship hall. So that we, we may do, and it worked out really well. So God bless all of you, and have a wonderful night. Do we have the closing music? Yeah. Good to see you too. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh,